Hey guys, it's Laura. Hey, um, I thought I'd do a quick video to show you, um, to talk about cold frames. Cold frames are an awesome way to, to protect your crops over the winter. Um, today's February 27th, and uh, we've had a really rough winter this year. We've had record snowfalls and mountains of snow. Most of it's melted, it melted, and then just last night we got a little skiff of snow over, um, over the ground. Uh, the thing about cold frames is you want to make sure that you, n you do not open them when the temperatures are below freezing or you'll kill your plants. Um, you're, the idea is to protect them from the, from the harshness of the winter and opening them when it's cold out is going to be really hard on them. But right now my, temp my thermometer says um, about 38 degrees or so. So we're going to go over to the garden and we're going to take a look. See what we can find. Maybe we can find some salad or something like that. So here we go. There's the chicken coop. And then here's the garden. Um, got some tomato plants that I never got taken down before winter set in. There's some garlic growing there. There's some wheat growing here. And these are the cold frames. So I have three. These are two right here, and then there's a third one right here. And we're going to open them and see what's inside. Um, right behind that, right, right there, is um, a low tunnel that I, that I tried this year. We're going to look in there too and see what's in there. And I have a couple of little, um, they, they, those are called walls of water. So inside the cold frames, I mainly have salad greens in here, but we're going to open them and see what we have in here. So, This one is one of the larger ones. And inside we've got some frise, which is a lettuce, a type of endive. There's some red lettuce, and then this is like a mixture of lettuce. Um, a bunch of different types of greens. Everything's looking great in here. Some of it's a little shaggy. Like that right there, there's a little bit of dead, dead plant going on, but this will pick up here as soon as the days start getting longer. There's two little garlics over there that I put inside the cold frame and then the rest are out. I was kind of comparing which one, obviously they look healthier inside, but not bad, not too bad. Um, so that's the first one. The second one also has mostly greens in it. There's spinach. Some, these ones got planted a little bit later, so they didn't have a chance to get grown. Um, none of this really did, but again, this is some some um, romaine lettuce, and then there's some some red lettuce as well. Um, everything's looking good. I'm impressed with how it's turned out. So um, this one over here got planted quite a bit later than those two over there. Um, so these ones are just itty bitty baby ones but I think everything survived so we've got a bunch of really nice spinach looking there they're small but they'll start growing um, these are leeks that was an experiment I'm, I don't remember what that is a little bit of lettuce and then this one all this stuff right here is called mache or corn salad it's supposed to be a really really hardy winter green um, some red lettuce. Pretty sure those are weeds. <laughs> but um, yeah, had I planted these a few weeks earlier, they would have been a lot larger and harvestable, but they've just been hanging out, waiting for the winter to grow. This right here, this bale is covering up some carrots that are gonna go to seed. So I was gonna try to grow seed this year. Um, and last thing real quick, let's look inside of this hoop house and see how this is going. Inside of here we've got uh, more spinach. That one's actually looking really great. Lots and lots of big leaves on there. Down here we had some rutabagas. We ate most of them. Those ones don't look so hot. There are beets and then beyond the beets are some carrots. And all of those are looking great. We'll have to wait till the ground thaws a little bit more before we can see how the actual roots are going. On this side, some cabbage, 
Really nice looking cabbage. There's more mate back there. Another cabbage down. Uh, I don't know if you can see it. Cabbage down there and then some lettuce beyond it. So everything's looking good. I'm impressed with how much is actually alive. And this, these two um, systems right here, a hoop house and a cold frame, are some of the best ways that you can have food to eat come winter or in the middle of winter or early early spring this is how people um, have food to eat because really I can't I can't plant anything right now but everything that is in the ground that is already grown is harvestable and um, it's awesome it's really cool to have food in February straight from the garden